Uh, updates on the broadcast. Governors changed ahead of 2024, wherein uh, Maharashtra and Ladakh governors have resigned. Uh, now, what we're learning is that Ramesh Base is now the governor of Maharashtra. So, the president of India has accepted the resignations of Sri Bhagat Singh Koshiari, who was till now the governor of uh, Maharashtra, and uh, Sri Radha Krishnan Mathur, who was uh, the lieutenant governor of uh, Ladakh. And now, uh, new governors have been appointed when it comes to even Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, there is a change of guard with the general uh, Trivikram Parnaik taking over the position of the governor. Let me go across to my colleague Mohit for more on this. Mohit, how crucial is this uh, with the change of guards happening when it comes to the governor position in each state? How it is going to impact the political discourse ahead of the elections? Well, you see, basically, we know for a fact that Mahavikas Sagari was unhappy with Bhagat Singh Koshyari. And on various occasions, we have seen their leaders have come out and they have stated that Bhagat Singh Koshyari has insulted the Marathi Manus sentiment of the people of Maharashtra and hence he should go. And few days ago, we saw that Bhagat Singh Koshyari wrote to the uh, wrote to the higher authorities saying that he doesn't wish to be uh, the, the governor of Maharashtra now. He wants to retire from the active politics. And now uh, his resignation has been accepted. Now Ramesh Basse, who's the uh, governor of Jharkhand has been given charge of Maharashtra. Remember, Ramesh Bass was in headlines when uh, the profit of uh, office uh, accusations were being leveled on Haven Soren. It was being said that election commission has uh, cancelled his nomination, uh, cancelled his uh, his post as the MLA, and then there were questions being raised on whether he will continue as the chief minister of Jharkhand or not. So he was in the eye of the storm. Uh, and we also know for a fact that how uh, uh, various other governments Governors have also been changed. Now, Gulab Chand Kataria as governor of Assam is a very, very interesting and significant development given the fact that Rajasthan is going to poll this year. And Gulab Chand Kataria has been the former home minister of Rajasthan and he is some big wig of the BJP in Rajasthan. So, whether he, he, his active politics has come to end, now he's being, uh, uh, being appointed as the governor of Assam, it, it seems so. So, whether uh, so this time around, it seems that the Vasundra Rajas India camp is getting more and more focused. Gulab Chand Kataria going on uh, as the as the governor of Assam, and hence there are many other various other uh, appointments as well, like uh, Justice S. Abdul Nazir as the governor of Andhra Pradesh, Bishu Bhushan Harichandran as the governor of Chhattisgarh, and we know so for the fact that how various states in these uh, uh, for, from these this list are going to poll this year, and we have 2024 uh, elections next year. So the relationship between the governor and the state government is very very important, and we know that how there has been uh, constant uh, uh, constant problem between various governors and various uh, uh, chief ministers in the past as well. So this development is very, very significant. But the major takeaway is that Bhagat Singh Koshyari, has, uh, his resignation has been accepted and Ramesh Bans is the new Maharashtra governor. All right. Thank you, Mohit, for bringing in all those updates. That's the latest development coming in on the broadcast when it comes to the changing of governors in the state of Maharashtra and other uh, states as well. On that note, it's time for a slip into a very short break. Uh, news and updates will continue on Times Now. Stay tuned with us.